Prepper Basics. Why exactly are you prepping? This is Throttle Up Prepper. Prepper Basics. Why exactly are you prepping? This is Throttle Up Prepper. How you doing? Very happy to have you with me. Whether it's your first time or you've been here a bunch, please make sure you like the video and that'll help me in the rankings. And absolutely make sure you take a minute to subscribe. Listen, today I'm sunning myself in February in my backyard at the lovely uh, compound. <laughs> and... Uh, it's a pretty wooded backyard, and for some odd reason, I decided to do a lot of raking this past week, so you're probably seeing a lot of bare dirt, beautiful surroundings. Um, but anyway, just thought I'd explain what we're doing. But I'm out here in the lounge chair for a very specific purpose. You know, it is so easy to get stressed out and, and drive yourself crazy as a prepper, you know, because there's so many different eventualities to be looked at and to cover there are so many different areas uh, of concern there's so many different things that can cause certain other things to happen that make our prepping necessary um, and if you go around chasing rabbits all day every day not only will you make yourself uh, broke but you'll make yourself nuts uh, listen, life is stressful enough. There's absolutely no need uh, to make it worse uh, by concerning yourself with the little tiny minutia of, of things. Uh, but how do we get prepared then? Well, it's simple uh, in my estimation and take it for what it's worth. This is my opinion. This is what works for me and for my family. Uh, hopefully it gets you to think a little bit and decide whether or not this is right for your family. But to me, having peace of mind is everything. Uh, I need shalom in my life. I need peace. I need, I need to just not make myself crazy. Like I said, life is stressful enough. Here's what I'm talking about. Listen, at the end of the day, how much does it matter that the power went out because of a garden variety thunderstorm a hurricane or tornado, a cyber attack, failed equipment, um, some guy pushing the wrong button, a meltdown, uh, EMP or CME. The bottom line is the lights are out. You got no power. <laughs> you know, at least initially, what difference does it make? You got to be able to reach uh, and get your hand on some flashlights or some candles. You've got to have a way to power those flashlights, whether they're regular batteries or USB charger and you got a power bank. Um, you know, those are some of your initial concerns. And then maybe if the power's not back in a few hours, okay, maybe now it's time to get the generator out and uh, plug in the refrigerator or to run medical devices if, uh, that's a concern of yours. Um, you know, it, it doesn't matter <laughs> what the problem is. Now, obviously, if it's a situation like a, a cyber attack or an EMP or some other terrorist strike that makes the grid be down for a long time, okay, now there's other concerns. You know, maybe the gas generator and the power banks aren't going to suffice. So, now maybe you're turning to solar or other methods. Maybe you're one of these people that have some sort of wind turbine or you live near a running river and you've got some hydroelectric uh, generation going on. I don't know. But, you know, it, it's just like when we prep in general. What's the first thing you worry about? Food and water. Okay, well, how much? Well, I don't know. Three days supply, a week supply, and then that becomes a month supply, which becomes three months supply and six months and a year and so on. So instead of worrying about, well, what if I run out of food because of unemployment? What if I run out of food because of uh, martial law or 
the Canadians invade us. <laughs> I love the Canadians, except when it comes to hockey. That's another story. But, you know, it doesn't matter what the reason for the shortage in food is or the need to have prepped for food uh, as much as do you have what you need. And that's the bottom line. That's all I'm getting at in this video is don't get hung up in all the scenarios. Sure, it makes for some good uh, mental exercises. Sure, it lets you know that, well, gee, maybe I not only need to have food and water and, and medical supplies and first aid to carry my family for a year, but maybe I need to have uh, the ability to power uh, what I have to have powered, whether that's a couple of lights, whether it's uh, the refrigerator or medical devices, whatever it is. Well, maybe I need to have the ability long term. And then, okay, well, now I got to worry about security, okay? Well, we're hitting all of the general major areas, you know, food and water and power and medical and and, and security. We can hit, hit all the, the major areas and focus on them uh, and cover them. Because again, will it matter so much if it's, you know, your neighbors going crazy or people fleeing urban environments to where you're at? Uh, people bugging out to your land that you worked hard, that you paid for, that you have animals and livestock and chickens and and, and whatnot, and you need to defend it? Does it matter why it happened? No, it just matters that apparently, if you find yourself in that situation, that it happened. So, so look at prepping more on the macro level, not so much on the micro. It's a peace of mind thing. The bottom line is, do something today. Do something this week. Do something every month to put yourself in a better position long term than you were the month before. Uh, chances are, you know, in the next month or so, is something likely to happen? I don't know. It could happen, but how likely is it? I don't know. Of course, the farther out you get down the road, it seems to me, I don't know if the math will prove it out, but it seems to me it becomes more likely the farther out you go, not less likely. But if you're prepping a little bit every month, especially if you're on a budget, then uh, it makes all the sense in the world. It takes the pressure off. You got that peace of mind and you can enjoy some February sun sunshine. Sunshine or sunshine, you decide. <laughs> Listen again, if you like this video, please uh, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Tell a friend. We don't know what's coming our way or when it's coming. But you know what? Get ready for whatever comes our way. Until next time. God bless.